Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to a Minecraft video. Today for you, in this video, I'm going to be sharing a brand new feature that has been introduced to Minecraft Xbox One and soon to be introduced to Minecraft PlayStation 4. And that is, you can now extend your transferred worlds to 36 times bigger worlds, which is amazing. It's a great feature. It was introduced in the update today. Um, so if I go to play, and I go to my world that I created on the day one of Minecraft Xbox 360 coming out. I go to more options and you can see they have introduced the increased world size. As you can see, select a larger world size to increase the amount of world that you can explore. Larger worlds cannot be made smaller again. So once you do extend this, it cannot be changed. So basically that is what the default Minecraft Xbox 360 world is. You can change it to small, medium or large. And I'm gonna change it to large so let's do this. I hope it stayed. Yes, it has. And all you need to do then, I'm going to make sure I'm on the normal uh, texture pack. I'm going to load it. So this world I created on day one of Minecraft being released. I'm going to make sure we are on creative so I can show you guys as well what it looks like. Um, but they did introduce this to Minecraft Xbox One and it is soon coming to PlayStation 4. When the next update is introduced is when you will see it. Um, they only introduced it to Xbox One because they introduced the new master pack which means they could slide in this with the update. But it's amazing. Um, basically I'm going to go to my house and show you exactly where it is. Um, this world was very, very small and I'm glad that they have done this. It means when they do finally introduce new biomes, I can explore it in a lot more detail. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you will know that this is my normal, um, my whole island. It's where I built everything um, and it was only a small island. So if I go to uh, grab myself a map real quick. So if I grab a map, in fact, let me make sure I just put this here. Let's grab a map real quick. Um, there we go. I grab myself a map. You can see that this is just a normal world that I have explored over and over and over at times. Um, but when I go to the world border, you'll notice that it will kind of stop and then start again, meaning that you can explore past it now. Finally, they have introduced the world increase um, addition feature, should I say. But you'll notice here that this is normally the world where it stops. Uh, but you can now go past it, which is so, so great. I am so happy they've introduced this feature. You'll see here that if I go off it, I'm now off the map in my um, normal world. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, as you can see, we're now off it. So all the features that have been introduced, it's gonna be amazing. I am so happy about this one feature. So all you need to do is go to your world that, you, that you've that you transferred. Um, it's gonna be great for Hunger Games if people wanna extend hunger, get hunger Games, but you can see that this is the world border for the normal default map. You can see here, it's a prime example of what happens. I know it doesn't really blend in with the terrain, but the fact that they have done this means a whole bunch of new exploring for my older worlds, and I'm sure it's gonna be the same for you guys. We're just gonna to go to the top of the end of the world. Um, I've never really explored up here and you can see on my map that it has kind of blended in with the map, which is great. Uh, let's see where else we can go. Um, but you can see where it cuts off. You can see on the right hand side of the map where it's like a, a line completely. So that is a new feature that they have introduced today, guys, for Minecraft Xbox One and soon for Minecraft PlayStation 4. Make sure you do check out the Master Pack video as well. I've been Echo and I'll catch you next time. Bye.